Yakovlev Yak-130, NATO classification Mitten. Russian military trainer aircraft developed by Yakovlev Design Bureau in 1990s. During 1970s and 80s, the general pilot trainer aircraft in the Soviet Union was L-39 Albatross from Czechoslovakia. For that times, reliable, easy-to-use and economical plane was an ideal flying desk for air academies. However, by the end of the century, with the creation of fourth-generation jet fighters, the L-39 became obsolete. Training on this aircraft wasn't enough to prepare to fly on new MiG-29 or Su-27. Soviet Air Forces needed to have a new training aircraft. The competition for purchasing of a new military trainer aircraft was announced at the late 1980s. The new machine had to become a twin-engine universal airplane for the preparation of the pilot during a whole program from initial flight skills to features of modern air combat. The Air Force has chosen two projects, Yak-130 and MiG-80. In 1990s, when the USSR collapsed, there was no financial resources to develop this project. That's why both aircrafts were designed jointly with foreign companies, Yakovlev with Italian Air Maki and MiG with French companies. Due to some disagreements with the Italian partner, joint development was stopped at the final stage. Airmaki received design and technical documentation and soon released its own trainer aircraft, Armaki M346 Master. The prototype of Yak-130 made its maiden flight in April 25, 1996. Due to the massive economic crisis in Russia, the certification work was delayed and ended only in 2009. The aircraft is equipped with modern digital integrated control systems, which performs the function of an automatic controls and active flight safety. In educational purposes, Yak-130 allows to simulate the stability and control features of other military aircraft, including the 4th and 5th generation Russian and foreign jet fighters. Aircraft power plant includes two turbofan engines Progress AI-222, providing 24.5 kN of thrust each. To improve maintainability, aircraft developers completely abandoned the composites. All elements of the airframe are made of lightweight aluminum and lithium alloys. The aircraft is able to land and take off from grass airfields. The Yak-130 is a combat and trainer aircraft. In addition to flying desk missions, it can be used for military purposes. It is capable of carrying up to 3 tons of armament including Air-73 air-to-air missiles several types of unguided missiles, as well as up to 500 kg aerial bombs. Aircraft production is established at the Irkut Corporation main plant in Irkutsk, Russia. By 2017, more than 130 machines have been supplied to Russian and foreign customers. In future, Yak-130 should become general trainer aircraft in the Russian Aerospace Forces.